Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be going over my daughter's ninth grade homeschool curriculum. All of her books have finally come in and so I am ready to share with you what we are doing. I guess I better start off with saying that we're doing kind of a hybrid, I would call it, with the public school. For our family, we have chosen to do public school sports. All of our kids are very athletic. Um, we really enjoy the community that comes with sports. I could go on and on about the benefits of kids playing sports, um, but I won't. But the way that our state, Michigan, works is that for high school, you have to be enrolled 67% of your classes at the public high school to be able to play with your community. I wish it was not like that, as a homeschooler, I should say. I wish it was not like that, but that's how it is, and so we have to play by their rules. Um, we love our public school system, it's wonderful. Um, it's the Michigan High School Athletic Association that I'm not very happy with, but anyway, okay. So, that being said, she is taking a crap ton of electives through the school. That's the other thing. It can only be electives. It can't be any core classes, which obviously makes sense because we're homeschooling. I want to teach her all the core classes anyway. So, she has four electives that she's going to be taking at the high school, plus like a study hall. Um, so right now the plan is she is doing marching band as an elective, she is doing Spanish one, she will be doing a computer class, and she is doing a fitness class. Uh, right now the plan is for her to use that study hall to get her language arts homeschool curriculum done. They can do whatever they want. Um, she could also do her Spanish homework if she happens to have Spanish homework, but that's about the only class that we're really anticipating her having homework in. So let's start with the language arts. We are using the good and the beautiful again for language arts. I love their language arts um, curriculum. And with it, I just got the whole pack. With the high school pack comes all of these flashcards. There's Greek and Latin roots. There are poetry memorization cards. There are grammar, um, geography cards, like, um, I don't know if you can see that, the learning the capitals of the different countries of the world. So that comes with it. And then what's a little bit different than the younger language arts is they come in units. So this unit, it is done um, very similarly. They're just in smaller units. And so she will be doing, let's see. I think she starts with Just David. I think that's her first one. I could be wrong. Um, but this also covers art, um, which she'll be taking at the high school as well, second semester. But so she will need, it tells you exactly what you need right here for the art supplies. So we will go ahead and get those. But she's got 10 units of language arts curriculum to get through for the school year. Oh, I got the book pack that came with it. So she has Just David, Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington, The Story of John Greenleaf Whittier, Into the Unknown, and patterns on the wall. So those will be the books that she's reading on her own with that curriculum. There's usually some sort of writing assignment with it. And then uh, what also comes with it is the grammar and writing guide. So this just is where the sentence dictation comes. She has um, commonly confused words in here. Uh, which is actually helpful for adults. I have learned quite a bit helping the kids with their language arts, stuff that I have forgotten or never learned. So that is her whole language arts curriculum. It covers geography, art, and English, basically. 
So hopefully she'll be able to get that done during that study hall at school. For her math, she is going to be doing teaching textbooks just like Julia and Jericho. So she will be doing Algebra 1. She actually already started it this summer and she really likes it. So we will be continuing with that. Um, we really like it. It's an app. We use the iPad with an iPen or um, the Apple Pencil and they all really like to do their math that way. So we will be doing that. Um, something I don't know if I mentioned in my other videos, but teaching textbooks grades it for you, keeps the whole transcript. Um, you can see like what problems they needed help on. Like did they look at the hint or did they solve it by themselves? So really wonderful. We really like that. All right, so that's language arts. Um, science took me the longest to pick out and I did have Journey's input with this. Journey's plan right now, she's really interested in interior design and real estate. And so we did not feel like we needed to um, start as a freshman with biology. She's not interested in any of the math or science careers. So to get that extra year of advanced science in, we did not feel like was necessary for her. So we are starting with physical science, which most freshmen start with if you aren't gonna go into, you know, if you don't need those advanced sciences. And I did decide to go with Apologia. Now, Journey and my brain work very similarly and color is really good for us. Like if something's not designed beautifully or is very boring to look at, then it's hard for us to pay attention. But it comes with a giant, this is a very intensive course. And so it's gonna take, this one will probably go into the summer. Um, but it has their lesson in it. Then I got the student notebook, which is even more ginormous. You can see how big that is. But the thing I love about this is that it, if I can get to the right place, um, so it has a schedule, it teaches them exactly, not teaches, it tells them exactly what to do week one, day one. And so she will just check it off as she goes. And also when she has to write stuff or take notes um, or she has assignments, there are, so like it says, Label each of the following observations as qualitative or quantitative. So she has to, when it says to do something in the textbook, you write it in the notebook. And for us, that just seemed, you know, like this is the workbook. That just seemed to make the most sense. And then I did go ahead and get the solutions and tests for science. So um, I just feel like at the high school level, it's pretty important now that she's being tested regularly on what she's learning, um, especially for something like this. Uh, the younger years, I don't really need to test them because I'm sitting with them. I know how they're doing. And isn't that the purpose of a test? You know, to test how well you know your information. Okay, the only subject that she will be doing with the rest of the family is history. And we are using the good and the beautiful again. The nice thing about history is that, you know, she doesn't need to take US history or world history. You know, you can do those things separately, but the way that this history course is designed is when you go through all four years, each year touches on US history, it touches on ancient world history, it touches on current events. Um, so by the time you make it through four cycles, the four years, you have learned a little bit about each of those things every single year. So she will be doing that with us. Um, this is what we're gonna start the day off with right away in the morning before she has to head off to the public school. And so um, we're doing year one of The Good and the Beautiful History. It comes with this beautiful book of history stories. Um, and also I believe there's maps in here, all sorts of stuff. And then the read alouds that come with year one are Through the Wall, 
three gold doubloons, the Saracen Steed, and Boy of the Pyramids. And each of these correspond to a unit. There's four units within the year. So we do history every other day. So every other day she will do that with us before she takes off for the public school. Now the morning, the other thing that we're gonna do, um, each of the, I got each of the kids a gratitude journal. This is the one that I got for Journey. And it just says, give thanks to the Lord. It's very basic. It has a Bible verse and then it has, I'm thankful for three things, the date. And um, we're just basically gonna use this as like a warm up in the morning. And then I also got this for her answers book for teens and I had gotten the younger version for the other two, but I mean, they would enjoy this as well. Um, so I just think we might read just a little bit out of each of those books in the morning. Um, like the first question is, how can anyone believe that the Bible is true since it was written so long ago when people didn't know stuff? Okay, so it kind of addresses why people didn't know stuff um, good answers offering no proof and then it goes through so we might read this every morning as part of their gratitude just to kind of wake their brains up but that is her schedule she will have a very full schedule with all of those electives she doesn't need all those electives to graduate it's way overkill on the electives but that's what we have to do um, for her to play sports if she ever decides that she doesn't want to play sports then we will probably bring her home full time. So, but so far she's gonna play volleyball and softball and she'll have a break in the winter. And then we can kind of um, double up on our homeschool work that she might not be getting to because she is at the public school for so long of each day. So that's what we're doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, before I forget, I knew I was gonna forget. Um, one other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be joining Skillshare. I've heard a lot about it. Um, I'm interested in it for myself, but I thought that she could learn some interior design things. She could learn some real estate things um, from Skillshare. And I just think it would be a very beneficial su supplemental thing for her. And they're like short videos and she can go at her own pace and what she's interested in. So that will be a part of her curriculum as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.